How's everybody on YouTube doing? It's TikTok Tommy Boy here. And I thought I might do something a little bit different. Um, it's probably going to be one of the first long videos I've ever done on my channel. Um, most people know me because for my impressions. A lot of them are pre-recorded on, on TikTok. And they get uploaded to, uh, to YouTube at a later stage. I've done a few original videos and I need to try and do a lot more. It's just all about trying to get that right um, green screen because I like to have the picture of the character in the background when I do the voice. But I got inspired to do something a little bit different. Um, sometimes I get asked, how do you do certain voices? And I thought the perfect example to start with would be Spawn. You know, I, re I did Spawn very early on on TikTok and uploaded on my YouTube channel as well. Um, in particular, the Keith David version from the animated series. I'm not sure if people are too familiar with the animated series. It's a brilliant series. Um, very, <laughs> very adult oriented. I would not recommend it for children. Um, but it's one of the voices I did early on. And Keith David is an amazing voice actor you know he's just incredible in all the different roles that he's done some of you will be familiar f with him from call of duty modern warfare 2 uh some of you might recognize him from a few other projects um he's a very distinct voice but um he did the voice of spawn in that series and that's the impression that i did and what you're going to kind of want to do is to try and get the raspy tone and the low tone together because the idea is that Spawn is... No, if any of you are familiar with the Spawn comic books or who that character is, he's from Image Comics. He's not Marvel or DC. Um, but he's still a very popular character created by Todd McFarlane. And you know that character is demonic. Like That character is a human being that's been transformed into a demon. And... That's where the raspy tone comes in is to try and create that kind of creature like sound. Um, and then there's the low tone as well. But as I said, is very unique with act voice actors like um, like Keith David, who's very good at the low tone. Um, and the voice generally sounds something like this. Not a healthy idea. My cat decides she wanted to be in the video as well. <laughs> But um, that's just a kind of example is you're taking that low tone like the voice I'm doing right now and then you're adding a rasp to it. It sounds something like this. So you got to get that raspy tone and then mix it with the low voice. It's not easy for everybody. For some people, they just simply can't do that kind of... They can't do that sort of low tone. <laughs> I apologize for my cat in the background. Um, some people just can't do that low tone. And the same thing with high... Like, for example, I'm not very good at high tone voices. That's why you'll probably never uh, see me doing characters that have voices that are a bit more high-pitched. Simply because it's not in my range. But... Those are the key kind of things to, to work on. Another skill that might be handy, and this is something I usually do, is I generally take the character that I'm trying to do and I watch the voice actor portraying that character. I listen to them over and over again, different scenes, whether it be in movies, TV, whatever. I listen to it over and over again and, and then start practicing it. Until I can actually start to hear that voice coming out of my own voice, if that makes any sense, is you're basically taking it by ear. It's a very it's a skill that not everybody can do, but it's I think it's an easy enough one to try and learn. Um, it's just all really it all comes down to practice. It really just all comes down to practice. Just listening to the character over and over, and then practicing that voice for a perfect example would be the Heath Ledger Joker I watched that movie it's one of my favorite superhero movies of all time and I watched that movie over and over again trying to do the voice I practiced 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 for months 
until I could finally hear that voice coming out of my own mouth. Um, and it works. Like, it re- really does work. Uh, it's just all about practice. It's just being consistent with it. You know, it's all well and good to try and do a voice once and then leave it for a while and come back and try to do it again. It doesn't necessarily work like that. Um, you have to be very consistent with it. Because if you're not consistent with it and you're not practicing, you're going to you may have it at that point, but without practicing it over and over again, apologies for any cats in the background. But if you're not practicing over and over, um you're not gonna have that voice you it, it can be lost very very quickly so i hope that's very helpful and um yeah best of luck everybody